the history really is um, about four years ago, five years ago, the principals of the college came to the lecturer and staff and the students and asked, could you design a house? Instead of it being a fictitious project, would you like it to be a, a real world project? We were involved with the college in a number of projects and the discussion took us to a point where the college recognised and we recognised that part of improving construction was making sure that students had a better understanding of what they were trying to do out there. And as construction seems to be moving and we're looking for innovative forms of construction, the, the chance of actually training them up in a way that allowed them to pick up the very latest in techniques was too good to miss. For the staff and students at New College Lanarkshire, the hard work began in 2011. Over the last four years, HNC and HND architectural technology students have designed and developed the plans for the final building. Most of the students have come to us with either possibly straight from school or some of them from the, the with some experience from the building trade, but they've never necessarily seen a full project go from beginning to end. So for them to be able to see the full process from the initial design concept stage through to full, full developed drawings, through to the technical stage, through planning um, permission and building control, completing the planning application in itself was a, was a chore and a challenge. To be able to see what anomalies could arise and what, what um, modifications and remediations had to happen, the production of the drawings in itself, the sourcing of the materials, looking at different um, structures and different um, materials and different systems that we're going to be looking at using. So it's been overall a very rewarding experience for, for both staff and for students to be able to see the project develop from an initial sketch on a bit of paper right the way through to what's happening today where the building is going up, it's becoming live. The foundation has already been put in, that was a, a, a previous process and today it's the timber frame that's being erected. It's a closed cell panel uh, construction which is put together very quickly uh, and it, uh, the reason for that is to avoid weather problems. So everything uh, before this was done in the factory and then brought out onto site. The closed system panels for the curriculum house were produced at Scott Frame's state-of-the-art purpose-built factory in Cumbernauld. The reason we invited Scott Freeman is the students were looking for some of the best manufacturers in terms of what flooring system could we get, what wall system, what um, glazing, what window door systems that we could get. Um, the first one that we invited in in terms of the kit side was Scott Frame and I know the students were very keen to use the value therm wall system. The kit itself is manufactured off site and what you then can get from that is less waste because everything happens in a factory, you get more recycling and you've got tighter controls and that happening in the factory. Um, what it allows us to do is get a very efficient wall system in terms of how it's constructed and it, it allows us to meet some pretty strict regulations for, for this year and beyond. The Value Therm system is a BBA accredited timber frame closed panel wall, roof and floor system. It incorporates an injected foam insulation that is 84% recycled vegetable oil. As the foam expands within the panel, it creates massive pressure. This process ensures that there are no voids in the panel that can cause cold spots within the structure, delivering superior air tightness and thermal performance. The value therm system has zero ozone depletion and an A plus BRE green guide rating. Working with such cutting edge technology in a real world setting represents a unique opportunity for the students. We are doing a CAD course where we are learning about Revit and all, all, using AutoCAD, designing buildings, construction details, just learning about the fundamentals of building design. This, this is the first time I've been out and actually saw a building site, so I'm just used to seeing details or just looking at a computer screen. I'm not used to actually going out on site, which is actually quite nice to actually see that building go up. Basically it gives us an understanding of what we are drawing, like we are doing the design, like the details of it, so it's shown us what we are drawing and how that detail would come to life and things like that, like how your floors would get put in and it helps us understand what we are doing in class. With the structure erected in a single day, it's now the turn of the construction students to complete the building. But first, 
lecturer Michael Maguire reflects back on the work of his students on bringing the project so far. It feels fantastic. I actually put a post on Facebook last night to the students I've been involved in it to say just how proud I was of their work that they've put in. Um, it's not a project I've ever seen before where an education, let alone um, a college, would invest so much in their students and have the belief in their students that they can design a house and the house can go and be constructed.